How would you like to save a $400 penalty on this episode of Title Tuesdays? My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. We're producing this video for realtors and anyone that owns a corporation in the state of Florida. Did you know that if you fail to do your annual renewal for your corporation or your PA, if you're a realtor, it's a $400 penalty after May 1st. So what I wanna do is we're gonna go onto my computer and I'm gonna just walk you through the basic early steps on getting your corporation renewed. Don't forget, it's not only your state license that you need to renew, you need to renew your Department of Corporations annual filing. So let's go onto my computer, I'm gonna walk you through this. Hit pause for a second, go on your computer, and I want you to check out the website sunbiz. Dot org. That's S-U-N-B-I-Z dot org. Now when you get to the home page, you're going to see, it's highlighted there about uh, halfway down the page, annual report. That's where you're going to want to go in a minute. But first, some of you may say, well, I don't know my document number. And what I want to do is I want to show you how to find your document number first. After we find your document number, we're gonna go back to the home page and we're gonna be able to do your annual filing. So what I want you to do is at the top of the screen, hit search records. You're gonna see search records and under name, you can put the name. And for this case, we're gonna type in independence title. And then you're gonna see where the first listing there on the right where it says status active. You could see how many independence titles there were in the state of Florida but we're the original and we're the only one that's independence title. The only other one that's active, you'll see about halfway down, it's independence title insurance agency. But for the purposes of this one, we are going to select us, which is number one there right at the top. And you're going to see, once you click on that, this gives you the details of the entity. So if you have a PA, you're gonna to wanna to do the same type of search and you're going to then get to this next page. The next page right at the top, you're gonna to see document number. Document number is what you're going to want to copy and paste that document number there. And then we're going to go back to the top here where it says Division of Corporations and select that. Then we're going to go to Annual Report. And there you go. This is the spot where you want to go to file your annual SunBiz filing, which is for your Department of Corporations. As I said, this is different than your Florida license. If you're a realtor, if you're a mortgage broker, uh, if you're a title company watching this, you have your state license that you need to also be able to go and renew at the beginning of the year. Don't wait until May. Go online, file this now, because what happens is as the year goes on, you're gonna get busier and busier, and then you're going to forget, and then when you get assessed that $400 fine, it's gonna be very, very painful. So what you wanna do here is you're gonna click, click here to file your 2018 annual report. And once you click there, it's gonna ask you for your document number. Now stop, where do you get your document number? We just copy and pasted it from the last page. So what I want you to do here is right click and go paste, you're gonna put in your document number and hit submit. Okay, now that we've searched, and right here is where you're going to be able to bring up your SunBiz filing and go through all of the steps to make sure all of your information is correct. You wanna make sure that, that your address is correct, your mailing address for the registered agent, which we all know from filing, the registered agent is the person that can accept service from the hours of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday in case a process server needed to serve you. That would be the address where your company would be able to accept service. So you probably don't want to make it your house. Sometimes you can use a post office. Maybe your accountant will let you. Uh, maybe your office will let you. You figure out that address. And then you're going to go through and just update all of your records. If there's no changes, you just continue going through. You pay it and then you should get an email within a couple of hours that lets you know that your annual filing was complete. If you were to go back to the main page where we searched independence title and you scroll down to the bottom, you'd see that we already did our filing. So if you have a question to see whether you did your filing or not, what you can do is go back to your homepage, search for your business, put in your name like we did before and you're gonna search you click on your name and then if you scroll down to the bottom, you're gonna see your annual report under document images. And there you can see where our uh, annual report was done on January 10th of 2018 for our 2018 
annual report. So we like to make sure we get our reports done early so we don't forget about it. So I hope you learned something new today about getting your annual filing in early on time to avoid that penalty of $400 after May 1st. So thanks for watching Title Tuesdays. If you found this informative, give me a thumbs up down below. Maybe leave me a comment, share this on social media, and we look forward to seeing you at the closing table.